Okay, so once again, uh, you know, back to the extreme C areas. Uh, we're gonna do Daddy's Harbun and Todoria. Again, I, I'm truly hoping for one day, soon, um, a really good, decent uh, Sarbon card that is like, you know, just legit, just Sarbon. That, that, that can't just for him to Super Sarbon, that would be great. Um, but anyway, let's just go ahead and start it. Should be easy as well, especially with the uh, roster that we have. Right, there you go. And then here, and then here. Okay, great damage, and then you're gonna do also uh, a good amount of damage. And there you go. He even created like what the hell? That's overkill. <laughs> okay. Again, I think we are leveling up way more links just doing this. Than doing the guru event while well, it was up. Like, look at this, this is insane. Okay, and we're gonna get one more stone. Alright. And then here. Just one more time. Alright, let's do this. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna see the tier from Frieza also in action, which is always good to see. I love that unit. So I'm, I'm replying to my friend and I'm like, dude, like, you know, the PS2 didn't like release 21 years ago, but we're also in our 20s, so we don't even remember that. That's not an indication that we all, in my opinion, it's insane. I wouldn't sweat it. Uh, oh, actually, let's go ahead and do a step. Okay, so it's nice to see that we're buffing tech right now. Especially extreme tech. Extreme tech needs all the help that it, that it can get, actually. Again, I'm just saying, you know, Bandai, somehow, some way, you find yourself, you know, with a lot of time, and you're watching this stream, or you're watching it, and, you know, the video. Like, it would be fantastic if you listen to me and, and add it. You know, a transforming Sarbon gacha. All you know, right. I will appreciate it a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know about the whole fan base. I'm not sure if he has so many uh, fans. But if I'm speaking from my own perspective, I will appreciate it tons. Mm. Okay, so hold on. They're not linking too well, but they, they do share, you know, enough to actually get the super, huh? That's interesting. Mm. <laughs> the, the little animation and how Sargon just appears and it's like... Yeah, alright. You did that. You did that alright. <laughs> I like it. I like those little because they, they didn't even fought together in the anime if I remember correctly. Um, the Doria got taken out by Vegeta fairly quickly. Um, but I like those little what ifs. Like for example, another like one of my favorite animations in the game that is so simple, right? Uh, it's uh, Grandpa Gohan and Pan. I think that that is such a great card. Not because they're like spectacularly good, right? But because I really enjoy just watching the little animation and it's just this what if 
scenario that we never saw anywhere else really like not even on, on center versions or, or something like that i'm like man that that's so cool to, to see it uh represented somehow some way in a game okay there you go all right let's do this Okay. Okay, so this one obviously is, you know, has been done with two int characters in there. It's super easy. I can't help but wonder why. Well, I guess I get it somehow. Now that I see the animation, I kind of want to get the SSR for Sharpen. <laughs> I want to keep one. But okay, I'll, I'll do that later. Uh, but now that I think about it, like I've, I've always thought about the idea of how come Frieza doesn't have many more rebels other than the Saiyans in the whole story? Like, why was everybody so happy to to be around him? You know, not that not around him, but well, yeah, around him also because Sarbo and Dodoria didn't mind, and then the Ginyu Force were so like loyal to him. It was always like it was always interesting to me how how nobody was like you know I'm planning to take him out. In, in, you know, unless, you know, they were saying, essentially. You know, because he was evil as fuck. All right, and people were okay with that. That, you know, maybe they were evil as well. You know. But yeah, you know, the, the, one of the, my favorite things uh, in Dragon Ball games, for sure, has to be when um, they did a what-if scenario for, for Sharpen. And how they were like, you know, he wants to be beautiful forever. <laughs> And he wants to keep his youth and they made him like pair up with um with Krillin, Gohan and Goku. I believe he also defeated Vegeta. Um and it was like a really cool what if and I was like, you know, it's a stupid wish wish by the way, they, to be like, oh you know, I want to be beautiful forever instead of you know being stronger than Frieza or I want to be, you know, immortal or something like that. Um, but you know, it was a, it, it was a really cool what if like to make uh, Sarbon kind of like an anti-hero. It wasn't that like, he wasn't a full-fledged hero, but you know, it was all it was always interesting to see it happen. But yeah, they, they never actually like you know, they never actually like banked on that, and they never actually explored that. I wonder if maybe I'm, I mean I'm, I'm just creating what if scenarios as well in my head but I wonder if there's a, like a plan somehow to include um, Sarbon in, in Dragon Ball Heroes like they did with Dabra I always thought that Dabra was such a cool design and I was so you know, not not upset but I was kind of disappointed that he ended up being like a henchman all in all right and then you know Boo appeared and Boo kind of looked like you know a goof essentially Bu ended up being really cool to be honest um there you go but you know i feel like i think dabura had a lot of potential uh, in the anime as well they kind of achieved that somehow a little bit um with the the Exploration of the uh, future uh, Trunks timeline, uh, but it wasn't enough in my opinion. Sorry, but, uh, the, uh, sorry. freaking uh, Dabura could have been way, way more uh, prominent in the series. <laughs> okay, there you go. And now we continue with the rest of the run. We have to do gold three times, remember that. If we get a question mark, but well, not three times, but, but you know, we'll see. So far we're not getting like, whenever we got them, we don't need them anymore. It's really too bad. Ok, 
Okay, so oh god. And then yeah. And then yeah. When I was a kid and I was watching the, the Namek Saga, I remember always wondering like why the hell is Cohen using his Kienzan, right? His Destructivist. And then they went ahead and they, they touched upon that on, on uh, Dragon Ball Sea Bridge. And I was like, man, at least I wasn't the only one thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it was super weird to me that, that they never actually made him use it way, you know, way more often. And it's like, why do you keep forgetting to use it, you know? Or like, why why do people, like, they introduce this really cool attack and they don't use it anymore. And it's like, man, come on. It would have been super useful. Okay, so that is that makes number one. We need to do two more. Yo, we got a Kai. Two guys, actually, I think. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do this one, yeah. No, actually, this. This and then yeah that. Come on man, stop supreming. It ain't even that hard to stop it. Please come on. Okay. Alright. I wish this was our, our unit instead of different uh, I mean it's still they got the job done but our, our one, the one that we do have uh, in the team is Rainbow different one isn't but it's okay I guess And here we want to get, yeah, exactly. We want to get 200. All right, let's do this. I was gonna say, like, watch it be um, a question mark when we don't need it. You know, when we have enough stamina to complete this stuff. Mm -mm. So the one thing I'm, I'm checking out, I'm sorry to, to go completely out of topic, really, but uh, I'm checking out because today is the Genshin uh, first anniversary, so I'm looking at news to see what I found. The first thing that I found, it's an article for uh, from Forbes, right, and it says, Genshin Impact it still refuses to increase anniversary rewards despite fine, a fan outcry, and that's hilarious to me. Like, what the hell, dude? Oh, shit. I remember that we have to use codes, but there's nothing, really. <laughs> PC Gamer reports. 
Genshin Impact's uh, anniversary event is really stingy, and players are pissed. It's it's funny to see those type of sources, um, you know, go ahead and, and report on that type of outcry. I've never seen that happen on the open though, and many many times people have complained. Um, it, it's been super good this year, but you know, in past years many people have complained. We never see articles on that. <laughs> Even when you know people be like you know review bombing the game like what the hell dude Right there you go Okay, so I think that it is obvious that the extreme C area, or any of them really, uh, were not really challenging at all, huh? I mean, I guess it depends on your box, but wow. Like, this was super easy. Yeah, there you go. We have two more to go. Question mark. Wow, okay. Like the last one that I remember being super hard was probably like, you know, the LRs like Goku and, and Frieza. And then maybe like Pants. Pants was kind of tough. And then like these ones have not been a big deal complete at all Hold on. it's always something issue H you on stream huh like it's either like you know the, the the eyes or the nose I'm so sorry okay there you go and one more and we're done. Followers of his ideals. And come on, come on. I almost clicked on, on sales. I'm like, no, do not tempt me. We don't need we don't need it. We got a question mark when we don't need it. That's you know, classic. And it's also like the, the of the metals that we already use. So that's fantastic. One, two, and then three. Come on, Frieza, finish the job. There you go. Okay. Okay, beautiful. And then here we do it. Funny how we have enough sunny, huh? Those missions were incredible. And now max level. So here, what do you do? You lower uh, attack and defense only, essentially. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, so we get a, a lot of buffs, and then he seals enemy super attack when there is an ally who, whose name includes uh, Frieza. Uh, attacking the same uh, turns. You also support. Attacks uh, affect this against all times when there is a Planet Dynamic Saga the category enemy. Hmm. You're not very good, are you, huh? I'm like I'm, I'm looking at it, and it's like you know, there's so many conditionals in this in this passive. Uh, you know, having to have a prison, having to be facing a Planet Dynamic Saga uh, enemy. 
I think that's really too bad. <laughs> so, you know, with the effectives of all type of, um, against all types, what we usually do is additional, right? You don't even stack or do anything with like other than lowering attack and defense. Maybe, maybe, yeah, additional could be good. I, you know, I guess, especially, you know, in, in the rare chance that we end up facing uh, a Planetnamic Saga enemy. But yeah, you're, you're not, you're not really good. And it's really too bad because you're like the only, I think you're legit the only tour that um, Sarbun has. Damn, okay, they did, they did him dirty. Not only did they pair him, did they pair him with Dodoria, but also like, they're, they're not good. You know, it's, it's, it's really too bad. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. I will have to try them. Maybe there is a, a chance uh, for them to be good. But yeah, mm, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not convinced by them at all. Um, let's just go ahead and, and do the, the orbs right away. It's it's funny to also like see them and see how, how good they become. Um, like when it comes to the stats and so on. But yeah, you know, they're, they, I, I really wish they were better. Uh, their passive is meh. Like again, it has a lot of things, but uh, under conditionals. And I, you know, I, I cannot support that entirely. And then, like, again, the, the super attack effect is, like, at least it doesn't massively do nothing, right? But, um, could have been better. Way better. Yeah, there is something to be said. It's kind of controversial, I guess. But, um, there is something to be said about, uh, you know, being against... You know the game introducing free-to-play units to go ahead and answer them right away maybe if they made him they made them really good at the start and then like a year down the line or maybe two years or you know six months or something like that and they did an essa and they will be better like legit way better like like being like the best units in the game in, not in the game but like free best free-to-play units uh, around that conversation you know that would make a lot of sense in my opinion um, you know, if they did it not immediately, but down the line, I guess, you know, it's a way to introduce content, obviously, and I'm happy for the content, but at the same time, like, you know, when, when you have SS that are kind of under underwhelming, you're like, man, like this unit could have been like just decent on release, uh, with this type of passive and this type of, of, um, level under super attack. And then it could have been way better. Um, down the line it doesn't necessarily have to happen right away and but yeah they're, they're they're not doing that anymore they introduce free to play units and almost immediately not not all the time to be fair to to the game um but you know most of the time they go ahead and like hey you know here's a he's an Eza. you know and sometimes it you know when, when it's underwhelming when it's it's amazing like for example tien and roshi um or 18 and and cohen you're like man that's incredible right and also, like, there's something to be said about uh, Fai Goku, Fai Ultra Instinct Goku, right? Like, you know, that those are incredible units. But then when it, when it happens to this guy, it's like, huh. you know, I was excited when they would they were released for the first time. I was like, man, you know, it's going to be super cool. I like, you know, I wanted to use a Sarbon because, again, I'm a huge fan of him. But I was like, you know, whatever happens, happens. I hope that they're really good. Uh, maybe, a, a, you know, a banner unit Sarbon uh, could have been it as well. But they did this, and and now that I look at the details, it's like, huh, you know, really too bad. I, I wanted something more, but you know, it, it's not worth complaining uh, all the time about it. It's like it happens, and whatever happens, happens, I guess. Um, not worth complaining. Uh, but yeah, you know, there you go. I guess <laughs> it's like there you go. No, nothing to do. Um, we completed it at least. You know that that's a positive thing. <laughs>